Hey everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you guys about uh, variables in Scratch. So, what we're going to do is, whenever we click a sprite, it's going to change the var one variable. And uh, either one of the sp sprites were, that were clicked uh, will say something. So, we already have the Scratch Cat. And re we let's rename this. Just a cat. And we're going to put a new sprite, so two sprite from the library. Um, I'm going to use the ballerina. Let's work here. Alright, okay, convertible is fine as well. So, um, first we're going to make our variable. So we're going to go into data, and we're going to press make a variable. So, um, let's call it clicked. Alright, so for all, make sure it's on all, for all sprites, press OK. So now we have our va variable clicked, okay? So we're we're gonna hide this. So press the check mark and should go away. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna start programming for the cat first. So click on the cat and go to events. So when the sprite clicked, if no, okay. So we're gonna go to data again. Um, um change set click to one and then we're gonna put if if um say we're gonna go to operators if click is equal to so we're gonna go to data if click is equal to one then we're gonna say something. So um, go to looks and say meow. Now we have to make sure um, the the data, the variable clicked, should be um, starting as zero. So we're gonna go events. So when flag clicked, we're gonna go to data, set click. To zero. So I'm going to start the program. So right when I clicked on him, uh, it showed the variable receives it. So I'm see, clicked is at one. So it says meow for two seconds. Now for the convertible. All right. So let's unclick clicked. So we're gonna go to convertible, and so we're gonna do the same thing. So when the sprite clicked, go to data, set clicked to two. So uh, two is pressed, the pressed value for the convertible. And so then we're gonna go to control. So if then, which is a block, and go to operators, if then, If clicked is equal to two, then then we're gonna go to um, looks. Say let's make a card room room. All right. So again, we have to reset it. So when flag clicked. We're gonna set the variable to zero again. All right, so this time I'm gonna show the variable, and it currently clicked to zero. Um, now every time I click it, the scratch cat will say meow, and uh, every time I click this, the clicked will the variable clicked will go to two, and the car convertible will say vroom vroom. So. 
Uh, now I can show you possibly how to incorporate sound into this. So for the cat, we already have a sound. Uh, meow. So play meow. So now I'm going to start it. So yeah. Uh, now, not only did the scratch cat say meow, but it physically said meow. So, convertible. Um, I'm not sure if this actually has a, a sound to it, but you, you could record it and you could put um, a sound of a car in. So, vroom, when we, whenever you click the car, it says vroom vroom. Whenever you click the cat, so meow. And that's it for variables. Um, I hope you guys like this and learned something. Um, put a like and subscribe.